So what we're going to do is um, once a month, I'm going to do a video, um, Ask the Expert. If you didn't know, yes, I am an expert. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> and if you ask me anything that I don't know, uh, I'll go out and find somebody that actually does know what the answer is. I will try my best to answer as many questions as I can. But today we're just going to do a really quick introductory session. And I'm going to first of all um, answer um, Bumi Victor's message. Hey Bumi, thank you for your email. Um, she was basically asking about um, the list of products that I used on the model. Okay, I should have written that down in the video because I was only really focusing on um, the products I was using for each tutorial. She wanted to know the foundation, the powder, concealer, and the shade of clear smooth Maybelline clear smooth powder I used for the contouring video. That's really easy. First of all, it's cacao. Maybelline cacao, it's legendary. Um, Bing Bay on Okoye has been going around as the cacao, cacao ninja. <laughs> she's been contouring cheekbones everywhere around the whole country and she even went to New York to take the cacao over to New York and she wanted to know the powder foundation and concealer that I used on my model um, Lola throughout the whole three um, videos that we did so basically with her foundation I started off with the um, Kuhera Cosmetics HD the Kuhera Cosmetics um, is owned by um, Kuera Musa, she's based in America, and you can buy the products on Jimmy or at my store, Sacred Beauty. Um, she has amazing HD cream foundations and powders and concealers. I also did use the Sacred um, 10 in 1 concealer palette around her area as well, which is the palette you saw me holding up when I was like, eee, Sacred. Oh, I also so did use um, MAC. Um, mineralized powder I can't live without my mineralized oh my god I will I will lose my I'll just put it this way my mineralized got stolen on set one day I was not happy I guard it with my life in fact I carry it in my handbag the one that's supposed to be inside my makeup box is not in my makeup box it's in my handbag because I can't trust to leave it inside my makeup box oh and also my ruby wood too I can't leave that inside my makeup box either because those always seem to go missing inside the office makeup box and inside my personal makeup box so I keep those inside my handbag and when I get to the job I bring them out makeup artists you know what I mean there are certain products that they always end up going missing on set but anyway that's another matter altogether second email that I'm going to approach I hope that answered your question um for me um know me again love it and then the second question comes from um, Valerie from um, Black Nautical. Okay, and she wanted to know that um, if she wanted to get that same glow that I did for the highlighting the cheekbones video, but working on a budget, um, what products would I recommend for people who are working on a budget? And then also whether she needed to highlight her forehead, apparently she says she has a big forehead. I'm going to have to see a picture. Send me a picture so I can confirm that or not. But anyway, she's asking whether after she's done the contouring on the cheeks, whether she would still need to do the contouring on the forehead. Now, highlighting and contouring is not one size fits all. This is what really kind of irks me because people only kind of, they only learn one style of highlight and contour. They learn one style of eyeshadow. They learn one style because that's what they see. But there are so many different styles of highlighting and contouring and it depends you on highlight the, the areas that you want to come forward and you contour the areas that you want to push back. So if you have a big forehead, highlighting your forehead is not really something that I would recommend. But it really depends on your face shape. So you can re-sculpt your face because if you have a big forehead, what you would want to do is only highlight um, part of your forehead so that the eye only really focuses on that area that you've highlighted as opposed to highlighting the whole forehead which is going to make it look much bigger so you would contour the outer edges of your forehead and highlight just the areas that you want the eye to focus on and see so that your whole face and your forehead looks much slimmer which is the whole point of highlighting contour to make your face look sucked in slimmer and sculpted okay now um also she wanted to know about 
working on a budget. Now, I always work on a budget. I don't see the point <laughs> in spending more money than I need to. There are some amazing products out there which you have to spend your money on. Some things you just cannot cut the money off. As I said, I absolutely love my mineralized powder. Um, and I also use the Tara, um, the Tara Gold Bronzer as well, which is fantastic. The gold is amazing. They've got it in, I think, two different shades. And it's really affordable. So it's not actually an expensive product. The House of Tara uh, supporting um, Nigerians, supporting the Nigerian makeup industry. Their products are not like overtly expensive they're realistic reasonable and good quality so if you're working on a budget or you've got a million naira to spend i would still say definitely buy the tara um gold bronzer and the main not expensive powder either. Cacao, it's a really affordable um, thing that brand. i used so that, that was a little bit pricey to highlight and contour that cheekbone was the mac mineralized powder but in honesty i absolutely love it there is an alternative that you could try which is the nike um, Nike powder is also a Nigerian brand who is based in America. Um, you can buy her products on Jumia and also at Sacred Beauty. Her stuff, her powders are fantastic. A lot of people compare them to um, Iman. They've got the Luminous powder, which is a really good alternative for the um, mineralized powder, and they come in really good different shades. And literally, all of these products that I've mentioned, all except for the Mac. Yeah, they, they're all under 3K. They're all like around that 2K something. Thank you so point. much, Valerie so, and Bumi, for your questions. Um, everyone else that has mailed me, I'm going to try and email you back directly. Crazy. Things that you're asking me, I've got to go and do some serious research. Like, I've got to go back to medical Tune school. Tune in next month, yay, for another installment of the Ask an Expert. If there's anything at all that you would like me to answer, any tutorials, any suggestions that you have, please mail it to me i would love to hear from you um send me an email it's lola at mysacredbeauty.com and follow we love style at jamia fashion on instagram and don't forget to subscribe to the channel below drop me any comments on the comment boxes i really 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 appreciate you guys until next time peace bye uh. <laughs>